Hello, here we are at Feel Great in Eight, week six, where we are going to talk about chronic conditions. Um, do you know what a chronic condition is? The thing with chronic conditions is that in America, they have been increasing in prevalence greatly. Um, hypertension, which is, which is high blood pressure, the American Heart Association actually has done research, and we know that one in three adults greater than 20 years old actually has high blood pressure doesn't mean that they necessarily are taking medication for it at this time, but we do know that fact. Um, furthermore, also from the American Heart Association, we also know that 102.2 million Americans have a total cholesterol higher than 200. Um, what that means is that their cholesterol is in an unhealthy range for them, because greater than 200 is telling us that we definitely need to make some health changes and possibly be on some medication as well. Um, and then the American Diabetes Association has done research and we know that 23.6 million children and adults actually have diabetes. And that is increasing exponentially to the point that we know 1.6 million new diagnoses um, for diabetes occur annually. So obviously our chronic conditions are very prevalent in the U.S. and we need to do something about them. Part of that uh, part of all of these conditions has to do with the extra weight that we are carrying as a nation. Um, if you see here, in 1990, the prevalence of obesity was really right around at the most 10 to 14 percent across the nation. Then in 1999, we started to see more obese people. Um, about half the states had 20 to 24 percent of their population as obese. And then most recently in 2009, we have, you know, some states at greater than 30% of their population is obese. And as you can see here, this has definitely increased over the years. And there are many things that Angie's going to talk about that we can do to help um, with these chronic conditions, whether it be controllable or uncontrollable risk factors. There are some things that we can and can't do to help control our chronic conditions. One category is called um, our uncontrollable risk factors, things that we don't have any control over, hence the name. So our age, the older we get, um, we have a tendency to become more susceptible to some of these chronic conditions. Our gender, our ethnicity, um, all of those have play into different chronic conditions and having a in higher instance for those. Also our family history, as much as we love our family, they do tend to pass along some of those genes that may not be um, very favorable. So knowing your numbers in regards to um, your blood pressure, your cholesterol, your diabetes, what your BMI is, all of those are really going to help educate you to find out if you're at a higher risk for any of these chronic conditions. And again, the ones that I just mentioned, our family history, age, gender, and ethnicity, we don't have any control over those. But there are a lot of things that we can control. We can control our diet, so eating a heart-healthy diet. We can control how much physical activity we get on a daily or weekly basis. We can control if we smoke or not. So obviously quitting smoking is going to decrease our chances for some of these chronic conditions. Alcohol consumption, keeping that at a minimum as well. So there's a lot of things that we can do to really help control these chronic conditions. We're going to have a lot of great information in um, some blogs, so check out more detailed information and really know what your numbers should be. And also check with your physician once you get, you know, complete, you get a blood panel taken, really going over those numbers with your physician and making sure you're in a healthy range. Thank you and have a great week six.